2016 is here and Destra is um, excited about QB Wednesday number two. And, um, you know, it, it feels great to be able to do this again because last year was a success. I did not know what to expect and the fans really came out and showed their love and support for QB. And for me, doing it a second time is just saying that, listen, we're moving from step and stage to stage. And hopefully next year we'll have number three. But before that, we have to complete number two. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> So this year, QB Wednesday, it's the Queen Edition. We have some of my friends that have deemed queens. I am fans of theirs and they're fans of me. And we're coming together to show some serious unity and support for women. We're showing some serious unity amongst women as well. This year, I think that, you know, the, the radio and in music in general, you have a lot of male dominating the radio and the airwaves and that sort of thing. And I think that it's nice to just bring everybody in one place so that they could see all the women in one zone, in their own vibe, in different personalities. And we're all queens. So, QB Wednesday, edition two. We have Denise Balfon, Alison Hines, Tanya Stevens, Drupati Ramganai, and Sas Queen, Nadia Batson. Our all on cast, doing their thing. And we also have Patrice Roberts and Lil Bits as the other ladies um, on, on cast. And then we have a whole heap of guys that are there to support us. <laughs> yeah, but that's the royal, it's the royal nation, you know? So um, yeah, they're supporting the queens. Well, 20, every year I'm busy, yeah? But I think that Lucy kind of took over the world. So the phones were just, it was just ringing. We want you here, we want you there. And I did sing the song, call my name and I'll be there right so i can't back down now so everywhere they called for me to be i was making an effort to be there some were band shows some were solo shows and we were flying all around and it was nice you know to get to meet all my fans and even go to places that i've never been like bimini i was there for the first time this year it's a small island in the bahamas and i was a little scared because we were flying over in a tiny little aircraft and i'm like where are we going to land where are we going to land but it was nice. The people were great. They were anticipating the performance. They heard about me. They've seen me in the Bahamas and Nassau and in Freeport. And they got a chance to really show me how much they love Soka. And it was really crazy. It was nice. It was lovely. It's been a busy 2015. Yes. And hopefully busy 2016. We, we do our first tour next week. We're heading to Venezuela for their carnival. So it's begun already. Yeah, mostly, most of the stuff that I do are carnivals and then we do some jazz festivals. Like last year we did St. Lucia Jazz. We've done um, Rhythm and Blues for Antigua already. We've done St. Kitts Music Festival. We've done um, Soak on the Hill, which is kind of, you know, it's not jazzy, but it has the jazz element of, of how they, um, they, pre they present the, sh the show. Everybody's on the hill, sitting down. So we've done a lot of different things outside of carnival itself the future um if i have one because i mean the future don't belong to me right but at the same time if god is great to me as he's always been i hope to continue expanding the qb brand right now we're just doing the concert series um annually we hope to continue our um jewelry line which we started two years ago and also do fashion a little bit of fashion we have merchandising going on as well where we're branding the qb brand on hats and t-shirts and other paraphernalia but who knows maybe soon i'll be doing a fragrance you never know <laughs> I, I think i have less stress this year too because i'm not in soka monarch and usually by now i'm frustrated thinking about what show i'm going to do and then when i do competitions it always takes a toll on me because I don't think I'm a competitive artist. I like to go on stage and have a great time and entertain people. I'm good at that. I'll make jokes, I'll perform, I'll whine out my life, I'll jump and wave till I'm tired. But when it comes to competition and you only have five minutes on stage, I have to pack all of that personality into five minutes, which is really hard. And then I start getting flustered and am I doing it right? And blah, blah, blah. So I think that is what you're seeing. You're seeing a, a relaxed, QOB because I don't have the added stress of the Sukumana competition. I do have the stress of the concert, but then I get to perform longer, so I get to breathe and I get to be in my element and I get to perform for my fans and all the people there are going to be people that love me, so it's comfortable. When I get on stage, I know that the audience is filled with people that love me. 
unconditionally. I can do anything I want to. They're not gonna care, they're just gonna love me more. Tanya Stevens and I did a song together. It's called Liar Liar. It's very female empowering. It's not male bashing. It's about a girl who got her heart broken by this guy that, I, I don't know what he did because we really did not get into the details in the song. But she's kind of supporting me and telling me, don't study him, you know, don't worry about he, you know, a girl like you can get any man you want, don't let a man bring you down, you know. So we hope to not let guys feel like we're bashing them, but to empower women and let them know that, hey, this situation is a, a global one. And if you're going through something like this, you don't need to cry about it. Just be strong. You know, something is better on the horizon. And I couldn't think of a better person to team up with than Tanya. She is so strong. And, you know, a lot of her music is, you know, it's powerful. And when we talked about it, we were actually on the plane coming from Guyana. We had a show together. And I said, you know, I have this song. It would sound really good. And she said, yeah, man, send it for me. Let me, let me vibe the top there. <laughs> Well, there was one that I could think of this year when we went to Freeport, the club, we, because of the weather, I think it was rainy season, so they had the event indoors and the tickets were sold to capacity. They had to turn away people. They crammed the club and I couldn't breathe. So at one point I just kind of stopped. I said, oh my God, oh my God, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Okay. And I think I started to take off as much clothes as I, I could take off. And then when I came off the stage, I just, I didn't collapse, but I kind of just threw myself to the floor because I just had to, I just, probably I did collapse, maybe. Now thinking about, <laughs> I don't know, I don't think that's what you're looking for, but I don't think I had many OMG moments this year. All my times this year with the fans were really, actually no, the OMG moments this year was everybody singing Lucy everywhere I went to. I couldn't even sing the song without people singing the song first. You know, and to me that is like, oh my God, I can't believe that this song that I did, everybody loves it so much. It's like an instant classic. Wow. Yeah, it's always difficult to predict because you go through the motions of, you do a lot of music and you may like it, but the crowd may not. Or the producers may like it and you may not feel it 100% and sometimes you're spot on with the, the audience. Um, you never know. You just have to go out there. For example, normal. Everybody loves normal. And I didn't think they liked normal as much as they did. When we released it, the reaction that you got from the DJs as soon as they spin the record is like, what? She do it again? She just had Lucy and she do it again? You know, and when I saw that, I'm like, really? You don't like that song? Normal? No. You know, and I think the fellas even more liked it than the woman at first and then the woman started to gravitate towards it but I mean it's a real thing it's a real thing we normal it's a slang it's Trini slang and now it's it's world slang so normal normal I don't know in wrapping up I just like to say thanks to all my fans everybody that supports Destra worldwide um, thank you for loving me and buying my music online um, keep doing that keep supporting keep pushing and don't forget QB Wednesday Number two, it's going to be crazy.